after a year long hiatus, we are back, baby. Welcome to another unboxing video, AliExpress edition. As you can see, we have a ton of boxes here from AliExpress. Now, I don't know what are inside these boxes because my manager, Michael, has handpicked these specifically for me using my own money. So I'm kind of excited to see what items he has picked out for me. So with that said, I should not have done that. So like usual, let's start with the smaller boxes and make our way towards the big boy boxes. So fun fact, by the time this video is out, AliExpress is having the biggest sale of the year. They're actually calling it Singles Day, believe it or not. So let's take a moment of silence for all my homeboys out there who are still single. All jokes aside, Singles Day refers to the date November 11th. The sale goes on until November 17th, and you essentially get $25 off all orders over $100 using the code ALONE. ALONE? Al, al, all on AliExpress. That's the abbreviation. So we have a box inside of a bubble wrap, inside of a bag, inside of another bag. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another box inside here. So this looks and feels like wood, but it doesn't smell like wood. Oh, it's a wooden clock. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Let's power this bad boy on. Okay, that's pretty neat. It's basically like a digital clock. Oh, and it shows the temperature of the room as well. Can your clock do that? Probably not. And it's only $7, you guys. That is what's so wild. Like these digital wood clocks go for at least 15 bucks on Amazon. The fact you can get this for $7 is actually pretty crazy. Oh, you can change it to Fahrenheit too? <laughs> this is what peak innovation looks like, ladies and gents. I'm getting so excited for a damn digital clock. So you can power this on using the provided USB cable or you can pop in four AAA batteries in the back, which honestly I think is way more convenient instead of having to deal with the cable. Okay, this is probably the coolest feature of this clock. Check this out, guys. Now you can clap cheeks and check the time at the same time. <laughs> 4.6 stars, over 700 reviews. Let's see what they have to say about this. Exactly as described, very good alarm, handsome, light, perfect for what I was needing. That's the first time someone has called an alarm clock handsome. Look, I know most of this is Google Translate, but you know, it's still funny to read. But yeah, for $7, I mean, it's a nice looking digital clock, especially for someone who prefers the wood aesthetic. I think this will fit perfectly in a woody or nature-y theme setup. Okay, one more clock before I go. Let me see how low I can do it before it recognizes it. Oh, okay, so you gotta you got clap pretty hard. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be clapping those cheeks really hard. Oh, what a surprise. I wasn't expecting this. Look what we got, boys and girls. A graphics card. What? We got the MSI Ventus RTX 4060 Ti. Oh, did not expect to get a GPU in this unboxing video. So it does appear that this is the eight gigabyte model and not the 16 gig, unfortunately. Yeah, it's brand new sealed. Got the triple fan design, a single eight pin PCI connector in the middle, and very low profile heatsink design as well. So this graphics card is currently going for $516 on AliExpress, but if you use the code on screen, starting from November 11th, it will drop the price all the way down to $375, which is under MSRP. But you know what? I'm in a good mood today. Let's go ahead and give this away to one lucky subscriber on my Discord server. So if you guys want to be a part of that event, make sure to join using the link down below. All right, this is the next biggest box. Oh, you know what? I forgot to fuel up. It's almost tradition here to fuel up before my unboxing videos. How could I forget? Go, baby. So this is called the Kirin 
from Darmo Shark. This is the M3 three mode gaming mouse. I actually like the box design. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but this looks really cool. The attention to detail they put in this box already has my attention. Oh, you got the color right, Michael. This is really light. Whoa, this is a very light mouse. Got some stickers, manuals. Okay, we don't need any of that. And inside here is probably gonna be the charging cable. And that's about it. So the mouse doesn't have any RGB lighting unless you plug it in using the USB-C cable. That's when the scroll wheel will light up indicating that you are currently charging it. So red means that it's currently in charge and if it's flashing green or if it's in green, that means it's fully charged. So this is technically considered a wireless eSports mouse and it's got a DPI of 20,000, which is actually wild. Let's test this on a mouse pad. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, it's such a smooth glide. I like the shape of it actually. It's got a fairly flat top, so it's perfect for claw grippers like myself. And it's got a um, 83 hour battery life, which is nuts. Okay, I think I'm ready to test this out in Modern Warfare. All right, let's see what this baby can do. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you. Not bad, very responsive so far. I'm definitely loving how light this mouse is though. You can easily grab it off the pad. Oh, beautiful. Nice. So this goes for $41.56 with a 4.9 star rating. Not bad. All right, next smallest box. Ooh, what's this? Leobug K21. It looks like a numpad of some sort. I definitely can use a numpad with my setup because I recently built myself a Haven 65 and I love the form factor, I love the board itself, but I do need a numpad when I'm crunching numbers. Whoa, this is cool. Can you guys hear that? Oh, that is satisfying. Check this out, it's like transparent. But why didn't you order a white one, Michael? Now I can't use this with my setup. You know, but the cool thing about it is that it's wireless, so you can connect this via Bluetooth or the 2.5 gigahertz dongle. Oh, it's got no RGB. <gasps> it's lit, yo! Okay, this changes things. This actually changes things. This is so cool. Am I overreacting, guys? Like, this is, is this not the coolest wireless numpad you've ever seen? Oh my god. This is actually nuts, you guys. There is dedicated software for this numpad that lets you set macros, remap the keys, and control the lighting. Like, you just don't see that on wireless numpads under $30 anymore. That's so cool, dude. Check that out. You can even do lighting effects and you can even customize what colors to use in that effect. I feel like these effects will look so much better on a white numpad. But you know what? If this fits in my drawer, I have one specific slot that's wide enough to fit my MX Master 3S. If this fits in there, I'm gonna be using this as my daily driver until I order a white one from AliExpress. Let's go check this out. I hope it fits. I really hope it fits. Look at that. It's like the perfect size. That's insane. That's good. I am satisfied. It's thicker than I thought. That's a good ride. <laughs> it is recommended five stars. <laughs> okay, you can't tell me that doesn't sound dirty. Okay, if you read this out of context anywhere else, there is no way in hell you would think it's for a numpad. Very nice, and look better than the pictures. I will buy when I need it, thanks. That does not sound healthy. What is this? Oh, is this broken? Oh no, it's not broken. Oh, it's one of those flip calendars. 
how does this work actually? Okay, this is kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's a Nordic modern calendar, comes in this wood frame and three sets of cards where you have to basically flip them every single day to change the date. I think it's cool. I don't know how much functionality this offers. I think it will look nice mostly as a decor in a naturey and woody setup. I also wish there would be something between the rings to kind of prevent the rings from moving, as you can see. If I'm being honest, I don't think this is designed for lazy people like myself. Like I can't be asked to flip one of these cards every single day. I barely have time to drop a proper dookie and you want me to flip these cards 365 times a year? Ain't no way. What would have been cool is if they added some sort of like device to automatically flip the cards. You know, for $7, you can't really complain. I feel like this is more of a decor piece than something that's functional. All right, this is next box for sure. How many of you guys actually missed the unboxing videos? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want me to bring it back and do it maybe once every two months or something. Oh, we got two keyboards. Was this an accident? Maybe they're two different colors. This one's uh, black and white. This one's black and white too. Um, same switches. Wow, this is the lightest keyboard I have ever held in my hand, guys. Look at this. You can tell like the cheapest materials were used on this keyboard. Oh, they're blue switches. The keycaps are wonky. The font is okay. I mean, how much is this keyboard? $16. Yep, not surprised actually. So this is called a Leven K620, boys and girls. It's a 61% mechanical keyboard with green shafts. That is the rattliest space bar I have ever heard. Is that even a word? Honestly, I can't complain. I mean, for $16, this, is, this isn't bad. For a mechanical keyboard, it's not bad. It's not terrible. Okay, lighting's not bad. It's RGB backlit. You can probably customize the lights on here as well. Yeah, I mean, not terrible. This, this is the type of keyboard you would give your least favorite child on Christmas. Let's read some reviews, shall we? The keyboard is exactly what it shows in the picture and came very fast. Just like me on the weeknights. Good use, good delivery. Just like me on the weeknights. This is the next big box. Finally getting to the juicy stuff, guys. The bigger boxes have the juicier stuff, always. That is always the case. Damn, looking pretty good, actually. Damn, man, okay. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. Look at these guns. Oh yeah, unboxing, let's go. Sorry about that. What is this? Some sort of monitorizer or shelf? It's made out of acrylic. There is literally no info on this whatsoever. Oh, it looks like some sort of a tray. Wait, I think this is backwards actually. Yeah, okay. I think it goes like this, and it's a tray for your peripherals. Wow, this is a massive fingerprint magnet, guys. Like, my fingerprints are all over this thing, so you have to be very careful on how you handle it. I would probably touch it on the sides, just so you don't get any of your fingerprints on the surface. But this is basically a shelf or an organizer for your peripherals, specifically your keyboard and your mice. You got four shelves, and then you got spot for four mice in the back. It does feel a bit flimsy, but I feel like we should test this out and see how durable it really is, so. Okay, so here are some of my keyboards I have built in the past. They got my original Rama M65B Milk. We got the Fecker that I built for my wife a few months ago, and the most recent build for myself, the Haven 65. This thing weighs a ton, so I'm actually curious to see if this shelf is gonna be able to support it. And then I got some of the mice over here as well. Just check it out. Let's start with the heaviest on the top. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. Let's try the second shelf. Let's put the ROM on top. Uh, 
I probably wouldn't put the heavy ones on the top, guys, if I'm being honest. Let's put the ROM on the bottom. And then the Haven 65. This one makes way more sense. Probably the lightest keyboard on the top. And then we got the 75% keyboard. Yeah, I mean, this is not designed for larger keyboards. I feel like 65% is the biggest you could fit on here. Anything TKL or even 70% keyboards kind of stick out way too much and they don't look, they don't look that nice with the tray. Like my Rama even sticks out quite a bit, but I feel like that's passable. It's not too big. Especially if you go like a pyramid stack, you know, we put the larger ones on the bottom. I think it looks nice. Yeah. Let's try the mice. Oh, even fits the MX Master. Wow. I can probably fit four mice comfortably if I don't go with the MX Master 3S because this is a very wide mouse. So I can fit four fairly narrow mice in the back here and up to four keyboards. Yeah, not bad. I'm actually digging this tray. It's a pretty cool way to declutter your space if you have a bunch of keyboards laying around. But personally, I wouldn't keep this on your main setup. I would put this more like on a side table or like an Alex unit away from your main setup. But it's a nice way to kind of decorate, I guess, and organize your peripherals. And it's very cheap too. Oh, I've seen these before. This is like one of those desktop uh, whiteboards that you can write notes on there. And it's got a storage thing underneath, right? <gasps> it's broken. No. No, it peeled off. How did that happen? Oh, no. The whiteboard portion peeled off for some reason. You know what? It's still usable. Yeah, yeah, it's still usable. A little bit of a uh, crazy glue will fix this, so I'm, I'm not too concerned about it. So this comes with three different colored markers, and you can basically use this surface over here to write notes, reminders, and to-do lists. Instead of using those colored sticky notes and sticking them on your monitor, basically cluttering your desk, you can just write on this, and once you're done, you can erase it. And it erases very easily. Very cool. You got a little hole over here where you can stick something long and thin. And then there's a slit over here where you can basically put your far, far, far phone. It's getting late here, guys, okay? Cut me some slack. You can stick your smartphone, tablet, or other thin electronic devices. And then inside, you got some space for... for some additional storage. So you can put your smartphone in here, your pocket knife, your markers. You can store your RGB remotes for your setup. Well, luckily you do get buyer protection on AliExpress, so all I gotta do is file a claim and they can either refund me or send a replacement, so I'm all covered. Cable ties, AirPods, I mean, there's a lot of space in here where you can store some of your accessories and declutter your workspace. So we paid $50.30 for these, but apparently they are on sale for $10 less. But don't forget, if you guys do use the code ALLONAE, you can get $25 off if you spend over $100. So technically, you can get this for around 15 bucks. This bag seems like it's got two items in here. So let's go with this one next. So we got a super console and a mysterious bag. I say we open up the mysterious bag first. Oh, finally something interesting. Is this a drone? Oh my God, this feels so light. What is this, what is this construction quality? I, I, I'm not even kidding guys, it feels as light. My knife is heavier than this drone. I don't think I've unboxed a drone in such a long time on the channel, guys. I've only reviewed two drones on the channel. I, I'm gonna say at least five years ago. That's the last time I've touched a drone. $16 for this? Okay, now it's all coming together. That makes a lot of sense. It's a 4K drone too, guys. Ah, uh, I don't know, I call cap. There's no way a $16 drone is gonna shoot in 4K resolution. We gotta test this out, right? All right, let's put some batteries in here, take this outside and um, take it for a test drive. Right, here we go. This is gonna end badly, I know it. Oh, 
We're up, baby. <laughs> no, get out of there, please. Oh no. It's it's stuck. Oh. We're up, baby. window. The good thing is it's so light that it's impossible to break. It just falls down at the hundred feet in the sky. Alright, try this one more time, but we're gonna do it here in the middle of the street. Okay, that's that's definitely gone. That is not 4K resolution. Let's just move on to the next item. Okay, now this is something I'm very excited to check out. I've always wanted to get my hands on a retro console, you guys. This brings back so many awesome memories. I remember back in middle school when I would always rush home after school just to turn my emulator on so I can play Pokemon Blue and Red. My favorite feature on the emulators was always the speed or the fast forward. I would always max that out to like four times and I would just zoom through all the battles. Oh, this is actually a lot tinier than I thought. So this is called the X2 Pro Super Console, but let's face it, this is basically an emulator disguised as a console. And then we got two PlayStation 2 looking... That can't be healthy. Okay, almost had a heart attack. The dongles are inside here. Got your HDMI cable, power cable, and a USB dongle. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing you plug this in and then you have access to four USB ports. I wonder how many games this thing has. Oh, 9,000 games. Oh, 90,000 games. 90,000 retro games in, that, in this tiny little thing. And this goes for $43. That's actually pretty impressive. I mean, there's only one thing left to do, right? Let's boot this up and take it for a test drive. All right, boys and girls, so we got the retro console loaded up and we can select from a few different emulators. So we got the Amstrad CPC, GX4000, I've actually never even heard of that before. We got RK classes. That's goals and ghosts, or ghosts and goals. I remember that, actually. Oh my god. This is bringing back so many memories. FB Alpha, we got IGS. I, we have a lot to choose from, oh my god. Atari, we got the original Atari, okay, okay. To the Capcom arcades. Oh my god, we're gonna be here all day, boys and girls. I haven't even heard of half these consoles. Like, what's a super graphics? This is probably before my time. Oh my god, there it is! This is the original Nintendo system. Oh, man. Oh my god. That's wild. Look at this. Look at the amount of games you can pick from. This is wild. Man. Well, let's go back. Do they have the Super Nintendo? Oh, they don't got the Super Nintendo? Oh, wait, here it is. It's right here. What game to play? Oh my god, they probably have every single game in the library. Okay, I, I gotta see if the goals and ghosts are on here. Like, wait a minute, did I just see what I th thought I saw? Battletoads? <gasps> they got Battletoads. Okay, I'm sorry, we gotta try this out for a sec. I remember going over to our neighbor's house every single day to play Battletoads. Me and my brother, because we couldn't afford a console. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite games on the Super... Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! No way! Oh my god, no way! Oh my god, dude! I'm gonna be here all day, I'm sorry guys. Okay, that's not fair. That's not fair, dude. Come on. 
one eternity later. Let's see if GoldenEye is on here. Duke Nukem 64. Oh man, this is... I'm taking a trip down to memory lane right now. There it is. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Yo! No way. I better not get copyright for this. Let's do agents. My heart is racing so fast. You guys can't even imagine what I'm experiencing right now. Oh my God. Oh, the controllers are so wonky. Oh my God, dude. It has a lag though, like it's so smooth. I should probably go into the controls and change. This was peak graphics back in the day, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. I can probably go into the settings and change the, um, the controls, but I can't be bothered with that right now. I do have a few honorable mentions before I head out. I gotta give a shout out to Perfect Dark, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, Quake 2, Rainbow Six, Resident Evil 2, of course. And I'm pretty sure it's in here. Let's go to Super Smash Bros. Super Mario 64 is pretty much a given, obviously. And then... There it is, Super Smash Bros. Okay, I gotta do one game. I gotta do at least one game. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was satisfying. Let's go. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun, guys. I'll be here for another like 10 hours. So for the sake of time, let's move on to the next unboxing. Last but not least, we are down to our final box. We have saved the best for last, ladies and gents. I actually don't know if it's the best. I'm just assuming because of the size of the box and usually the biggest boxes have the juiciest stuff, so. Let's go, baby. There's no way, this is, <laughs> oh, I'm actually happy. I'm actually happy to see this. You guys will never guess what this is, by the way. Yes, indeed, it is a luggage suitcase, you guys. This couldn't have come in a better time. Like the one I'm using now is missing a wheel and the zipper is stuck. I'm in need of a new travel luggage. Look how smooth this rolls over the surface. Oh, wow. These have some of the best wheels. Oh, we got a lock up here, okay. Oh, I absolutely love this front pouch. Look how massive this thing is. This is easily able to fit my laptop. Oh, we're in, baby. We're in. There's so many compartments here, guys. Like, you can store the laptop's charging cable here. You can put some extra stuff here, like the passport can go here. Oh, and you have access to the compartments here, too. This makes it so easy to access stuff in your luggage without having to put this on its back and open the entire thing. Like, that's why I love these luggage designs the most. This is, this is, this is a game changer right here. Oh, so this actually opens up in a very interesting way. So you don't get the zipper on the side here. This doesn't open up like a sandwich. You have to actually open up this compartment first, and there's a zipper over here on the side that opens up the bigger compartment. So you zip this. Oh, and there you go. There you go, ladies and gents. We got compartments on the sides here as well and a strap in the center to keep everything nice and contained. I'm actually digging this style a lot more as opposed to the traditional like sandwich or butterfly style because if you open this compartment, you can literally store all your clothes and belongings in here in one space and it makes it a lot easier to close. 
as opposed to like bringing over one heavy side and closing it. I feel like this is way more efficient. I've never been this excited on an unboxing video, guys. Like, I don't know if you can tell my excitement for this thing. Perfect timing too. I'm actually gonna use this for um, escape this weekend. We're going to escape Halloween in San Bernardino, so, and I'm gonna take this for a test drive. Best believe. That was such an awesome way to end today's video, guys. I am so excited to check out the luggage this weekend. I'll drop a link to everything I unboxed down below. Don't forget to use the code ALLONAE to get $25 off all orders over $100. I'll drop a link to AliExpress down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the unboxing videos, smack a like. Before you head out, I love your faces and I'll see you very soon in the next one.